Good morning, everyone. Ann Martin Fry here, founder and CEO of Homeless to Independence, Inc. And we have some information that I received yesterday from the IRS regarding the upcoming payments. They asked me to help get this information out. And I also have information. I have a need. I don't have a need, but I'm, I have a need from the New Jersey Veterans Network and I wanna get that information out also. First, I just wanna take a moment and say hello and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We're here to help, but we're also here to help get pertinent information out uh, when uh, there are needs uh, in, in times such as this. So that's what we're doing. It's a public service, a public service. We're not getting paid or getting any compensation in any way for doing this. I do it because it's a need and I, it is my honor, believe me. So first, let me um, address this need. And it was uh, the New Jersey Veterans Network honoring those who sacrificed for us. And this was posted yesterday on the Woodbridge American Legion Post 87 Family Facebook page. The, there's gonna be a picture, of course, uh, that's the picture that they had. Now let me read you the message. The New Jersey Veterans Network is looking for 300 or more nurse headbands for hospitals. It, he stated, uh, we, are, we have already spoke to some hospitals and these headbands will really help their staff. If anyone is interested in making or donating these, please send them a message via the Facebook page or call and the phone number is down below. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us as well. Help us save vets. Thank you and God bless the United States of America. Yes, and that's from Michael Bull. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting that word out. The nurses need the nursing headbands and the face masks um, hook onto button on each side, as you can see in the photo. Um, this is going to be on Homeless to Independence's recent updates page. The link for that will also be below in case you misplace this um, podcast or email. Um, you can go right to our recent updates page and find that information there. Now, Yesterday afternoon at 3.23 p.m., I received an email from, I'm going to read the email. He says, my name is Glenn Gizzy, and I work for the IRS and communications and liaison, and I'm not looking for any personal data. Rather, with the current pandemic, we are exploring various organizations on the internet trying to make sure our messages to the taxpayers are distributed far and wide. Right now, as you have, I'm sure, heard, there will be an economic impact payments, EIP, made to many Americans starting next week. The concern is that there is a segment of the population that may be entitled to this money, but because they are homeless, they might not know what to do. Okay. Now, if some of your clients receive Social Security payments but don't file, the IRS will be making the deposits directly to their bank account if they receive their Social Security via direct deposit. If they receive a check, then the IRS would mail out a check to where the Social Security goes. Additionally, the Treasury Department has asked the IRS to work on a system where the taxpayer can either or excuse me, can enter in banking information if they have an account so their payments would be deposited and thus come faster. Right now, IRS is still working on it. However, some large national tax preparation companies may be partnering with, partnering with us in this endeavor, but as of right now, on our official website, www.irs.gov forward slash coronavirus. There is no listing yet. 
Um, I've, I've included attachments of current tweets we are using as well as two printable, printable document posters regarding the EIP, Electronic Impact Payment. We just want to make sure that all taxpayers, regardless of living situation, color, race, nationality, are informed of this credit. And all we ask your organization to do is let your clients know and keep an eye on our website for updates on the process. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or direct me to the appropriate staff person. As soon as the process is in place to get the EIP to the homeless, we will send the message out and promote it. If you would like to follow up this email with a telephone call to discuss any questions you may have, I'm available. The contact information and hours are below. Of course, I didn't put that down below, folks, for you. I'm sorry. If you have any specific questions, I would be more than happy to um, forward those questions on, reach out to him and ask, but it won't be with regards to um, where's my money. I'm not doing that, folks. That ain't right. It's not right. We're all in the same boat together. So he said, thank you for your help in this matter. Be well and stay safe. We are all in this together. And that is very true. And he signed it, Glenn Gizzy. A senior stakeholder liaison communications and liaison and he's in the Edison New Jersey office so this information will also be on homeless to independence's recent updates page and um, so that's that's what we're doing so I wanted to get those two items out to you folks as soon as possible today extremely good information and um that's what it's all about that's why we're here that's why everybody's here we're here to help one another seriously we got some trying times coming up a lot of stuff folks you have no i'm not I, i'm not gonna put anybody down by saying you have no clue but there's so much folks and when you folks find out it's going to be rough on a lot, believe me. A lot. So, um, Homeless to Independence is an all-volunteer 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we don't receive any grant funding whatsoever at this time. And yes, I did just apply. And if that does change to a yes, I will disclose that, believe me. I, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. But we do not receive any grant funding and we're all volunteer and we're self-supporting so if anybody uh, would like to instead of uh, me asking for money we have a vetted charity ebay store that we have items listed for sale these items have been specifically donated for us to do this to raise funds and um as I stated, it is a vetted charity. We are a vetted charity with eBay. We, and that 100% of your purchase goes to Homeless to Independence's charity vetted PayPal account. We are a vetted charity with the PayPal Giving Fund. And, um, and, this, and that pays for our overhead. So like everybody else, I'm at a standstill. All of our fundraising... That's basically our only other fundraising. That is our only fundraising because everything else right now is shut down. Uh, we have um, flea markets and such that um, some of us have hosted us for, uh, for free uh, in the past. And some charge us um, not the full rate. And we are so grateful for that. But they're not even open right now. And they're impacted by this. you got to think how many folks that have to pay their taxes, their land taxes, or in some states like Pennsylvania, they even have a school tax they have to pay, and they can't even be open. Yes, I do know that the government is doing everything that they can, but it's still, it's, it's so, it, it is stressful, and all we can do is be calm and patient to the best of our ability, and I will be, believe me. Because 
my younger days, I was very impatient. I was, I was not a nice person. Let me put it that way. I don't believe I was a very nice person for what I can remember. But, um, and I say it like that because I was, I, I was out there. I was way out there. I was inebriated most of the time. And, and that's, and that's the way I was, unfortunately. But since going clean and sober, it's a great life. Believe me. It was a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. So I know now to also with a lot of uh, companies or folks that are not working because their companies are closed and now um, the spirits store uh, are also closed. So this is your time, time to shine. Go clean and sober. You can handle things a lot better, believe me. Whatever it was that brought you to that point, Seriously, you can work on it, work on it, and stop trying to drown it, let it out. Because once it gets to the light, it's done. It's done. And, and it does take time, because we're all, we all walk those steps for various reasons. Ma many multiple hurts down that we're trying to, we're trying to stuff. I was trying to stuff. So that's another public service announcement. Um, and yes, there are meetings online for whatever you need a meeting for, believe me. So, okay, folks, so click that thumbs up. Please visit our eBay store, It's Homeless to Independence, Inc., all lowercase, no spaces. That's also down below. Click that thumbs up. It's the like button. Please subscribe. Click the bell for all and share. Thank you. Bye-bye now.